Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. In this session, let us look at how to find out the coordinates of foot of perpendicular. Let's have a look at this figure. We have been given that AX plus BY plus C equal to 0 is a straight line for which the perpendicular is dropped from point x1 comma y1. Now the foot of perpendicular is the point of intersection of these two lines that is h comma k. Now how to find out the coordinates of h comma k? There is one method which is conventional. What we do is we know the equation of this line. So we know the slope of ax plus by plus c equal to 0 is minus ca by b. So when we go to the line which is perpendicular to this line, we know slope is b by a and we know the point. So once we know point slope form, we can find out this equation and we already have the equation. So you solve them by pair of linear equation in two variables by either elimination or substitution or cross multiplication method. You will be getting the point of intersection which is h comma k. But instead of that, is there any other way where we can directly apply the formula? So let's uh, try to understand. So that suppose they gave us that 3x plus 4y plus 5 equal to 0, a perpendicular is drawn from point 1 comma 2. What are the coordinates? So we just want to substitute the values and find it out. Then how we can do that? So our solution of h and k should be in terms of a, b, c and x1 and y1 because that is the information what we have been given okay now what we will do first we'll start with saying that we know the slope of the first line is minus a by b how we know that can i write down by equal to minus a x minus c or y equal to minus a by b x minus c by b that means slope of a x plus b y plus c let us say this is a and b this is x and this is c. We know slope of m b a b. Can I say m a b? That is slope of a b equal to minus a by b. Then what will be the slope of c x? Slope of c x equal to exactly reciprocal of that with opposite sign. Because we know product of slopes of two perpendicular lines is minus 1. Now we also know that there are two points on Cx. So we can find out slope of Cx in another way. What is that? y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We can do that too. Now what is our y2? y2 is k minus y1 that is k minus 1 divided by h minus x1 is equal to b by a. Now can I can I take this ratio and do what we call it as alternando or we just switch the numerator denominator and we can write it as h minus x1 divided by a equal to k minus y1 divided by b. Now from this we can solve this in two methods. In the first method, what we will do? We will take the first ratio, multiply with a, numerator part, a into h minus x1, plus second one, we will multiply with b, b into k minus y1, divided by a into a in denominator a square, and here it is b square. Now, the ratios here are equal. What we have done? We have taken the first ratio, taken the first ratio multiplied with a taken the second ratio multiplied with b now you write down the numerator separately and the denominator separately you will have the same ratio let's have a look at that how that is possible let us take a simple example let us say we have 2 by 4 is our first ratio 3 by 6 is our second ratio now let us say here a equal to 5 and b equal to 7. So what are we doing now? We are taking first multiplying 5 into 2. Then we are doing plus 7 into 3 divided by a square we are doing. That's basically nothing but whatever we have in the denominator we are multiplying. But actually we can do another also 5 into 4 plus 7 into 6. Now simplify this you will have. 10 plus 
21 that is 31 divided by 62 which is equal to 1 by 2 and you know these are also 1 by 2 so this can be pretty much done now what is this logic actually what we are talking about is something like this what we are saying is if a by b equal to c by d that is equal to ax plus cy divided by bx plus dy so you take the first ratio multiply with x second ratio with multiply with some other variable y you just add numerator separately denominator separately they will be in the same ratio you can check that this is one of the property so that is what i just want to stress on how it came now let's go ahead and solve this now coming back to the problem we know that h comma k is a point on ax plus by plus c equal to 0 so we know that we know that ah plus bk plus c is equal to 0 we know that because h comma k is a point of intersection of both the lines now let's go here and write down what we have we will have h minus x1 divided by a equal to k minus y1 divided by b is equal to ah plus bk after that we will have minus ax1 minus by1 divided by a square plus b square but we know that ah plus bk plus c equal to 0 that means i can write down ah plus bk as minus c so it will become minus of ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by a square plus b square so how to find out the coordinates of foot of perpendicular if you know x1 y1 and the equation of the line is ax plus by plus c equal to 0 if h comma k are the coordinates you have to find out then h minus x1 by a equal to k minus y1 by b equal to minus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c by a square plus b square now the same problem if you think that okay this ratios whatever you have written i am not comfortable i don't know what to do there is another method what we can do let us have a look at that method we'll start with h minus x1 by a equal to k minus y1 by b then we will take a h plus b k plus c equal to 0 try to convert k in terms of h find out the h value then we will arrive at the same answer let's have a look at that quickly how we can do that too now we know that h comma k is a point on a x plus b y plus c so can i write down a h plus b k plus c equal to 0 now what i want to do i want to solve h value so what i will do i leave a h like that only b in terms of k i will take from the first equation and i will write down h minus x1 k minus y1 equal to b by a into h minus x1 plus y1 i hope you are able to understand that what i have done is i have taken cross multiplication k minus y1 equal to b into h minus x1 by a then we have to add y1 so that we converted k in terms of h now we have plus c equal to 0 now let us simplify this by, by multiplying everything with a we will have a square h plus b square h minus minus a b x1 we have multiplying everything with a a into a is a square h then b into b square h then we have b square minus b square x1 then we have a y1 into b y1 that is nothing but plus a b y1 plus a c equal to 0 i hope you are okay with this step what i have done is just simply i have taken multiplied everything with a so a square h a a cancels here so you'll have b square h minus b square x1 now a will come here a into y1 into b so it is plus a b y1 plus a c equal to 0 let's go to the next step so if we try to get h in left terms left side we'll have h into a square plus b square 
is equal to take the remaining to right hand side we'll have b square x1 minus a b y1 minus a c equal to 0 now we have that means we have h equal to b square x1 minus a b y1 minus a c so divided by a square plus b square now we take this and try to simplify by saying what is h minus x1 by a what we will have is 1 by a then you multiply that with b square x1 minus a b y1 minus a c divided by a square plus b square we have so we have to divide everything subtract minus x1 then we have to divide by a so we do this simplification we get minus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c divided by a square plus b square now we know already we know h minus x1 is by a is k minus y1 by b so we can go ahead and write down h minus x1 by a equal to k minus y1 by b equal to minus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c divided by a square plus b square so the coordinates of foot of perpendicular if you know the line is a x plus b y plus c and a perpendicular is dropped to that from a point x1 comma y1 then the formula is h minus x1 divided by a equal to k minus y1 by b equal to minus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c by a square plus b square but believe me i never follow this i just take the line as it is i find out the slope then i go reverse put the point in there get them solve by elimination method which is a normal way of doing it i don't follow this formula but maybe if you are in hurry you have to finish it fast maybe this formula may help you to solve the problem easy that is h and k are the coordinates we have to find out x1 comma y1 is the point from which the perpendicular is drawn to the line a x plus b y plus c it's very simple h minus x1 divided by a equal to k minus y1 divided by b equal to minus of the line equation by substituting point x1 comma y1 that is minus of a x1 plus b y1 plus c divided by a square plus b square so same logic if you apply you will have coordinates of image also you can find out in that case you will have h minus x1 by a equal to k minus y1 by b equal to minus of 2 now what's the meaning of image here image is we have foot of perpendicular now this is our mirror the straight line is the mirror so we want to find out image of this particular point on this mirror so there will be a point at the same distance on the other side of a b now you know this distance equal to this distance so because the reflection is always at the same distance from the mirror on both directions so your answer will be the same only the thing is here instead of minus 1 you will have minus of 2 so that formula you can use and find out the coordinates of image of a point on a particular straight line so so that's about the how to find out the coordinates of foot of perpendicular so hope you understand this and you will benefit from this derivation. Thanks for your time and support. I'll catch you once again with another interesting concept or example. Till then, keep smiling and sharing. Bye for now.